Ooh, bad TV. Welcome to Bang TV, 7414. I am your host, OG Slim. Listen, I had to stop through. I was having a talk today with one of my one of my partners like from back home. Y'all know I'm a I'm just a old southern boy, just a wide eyed southern boy, you know. But I've been in the firearms all my life ever since I was a kid, like like I said, like I am an NRA supporter. And like I said, like I don't even want to speak on my uh on my political views, like it it don't make a difference, like, you know what I'm saying? I keep that to myself, but I am an NRA supporter. And so my my partner he was asking me like about why I show guns on Facebook like I do. I'm saying like I'm saying to him, like, I'm exercising my Second Amendment right. I'm a legal gun owner, NRA member, NRA supporter. Any gun I throw up on Facebook, it's in my name. They have to do a background check. Y'all know the procedure, the paperwork you have to fill out to get any type of firearm. So, like I said, I'm I'm support I'm 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 standing up for my Second Amendment rights and I'm an NRA supporter. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like me even have to me even having to explain myself like that's that's bullshit. Like if you a felon or you not in your legal parameters to carry a firearm or even show a firearm on social media, like it's one thing, like that's what I say about stereotypes. I I hate stereotypes, like that's why I started doing these videos, like, to break the stereotypes. I look a certain type of way, but like I said, I'm not going to discuss my political views or who I support or like there's there's there, there's nobody's business business if I don't want to discuss that shit but like I'm an NRA supporter. I I I I really do believe in the second amendment rights and it's just like all these mass shooters or or or, or people who who go in and attack uh businesses or or public places and shoot up shit like if you if you look at it, people people are going to attack what's more vulnerable. They're not going to attack places where people are armed. If people are armed, that they they're less likely to attack that place. That's what I'm saying. Like we got people now now they they talking about this gun control shit. Now they trying to take after this shit that happened in Walmart at that Walmart. Like they trying to take. Guns, period, which we know uh, never happened, but that's not the solution to the problem. Like, the gun didn't get up and fucking walk to the Walmart itself. Look at Chicago, where they have some of the strictest gun laws in the country, and they have the highest murder rate in the country. They got guns. They got shit, like, they got shit with, with all, I mean, like, all types of shit. With extended magazines, drums, fucking fully automatic bump stocks. Where are they getting this shit? Like, so that's not that's not the 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 end all solution. You feel what I'm saying? But it was like, it was like to me, it was crazy that we had to sit up there and go back and forth about this shit. Like, if I'm not worried about it, why in the fuck are you worried about what I'm showing? on Facebook, if I'm not, if I'm not threatening people or I'm not gang banging or I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm simply telling people to exercise their second amendment right if they are in their legal parameters to do so. I mean, like, it's like, it's like, it's like motherfuckers act like I committed a crime or some shit like that because I'm 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 advocating firearms or I'm telling people like and I look the way I do like that that's that's crazy to me like fuck <laughs> the stereotypes man people put stereotypes on themselves as like to blame other people for a lot of shit you feel me like like at the same time like I said like 
it's a certain way to go about everything. It's just like me, like I've been pulled over while I had my firearms. Or it's 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 a certain way. You shouldn't make a scene if an officer asks asks you to do something. Just comply. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, you're not gonna win the trial or or, or a whole court in the street and win with with police officers. So why are you making the situation? more difficult where you where you're putting yourself in a situation where you might die you might fucking die that's why i say as a black man i open carry i could i have a concealed permit but i still open carry because i'm a black man and i feel like i'm not I'm not dumb, you know what I'm saying? Like if I walk it I'm I'm in Las Vegas. This is an open carry state, so like I would rather for my firearms to be showing. So I'm not you know, it's just to keep confusion down, man. Like I said, like I done had incidents where I had to go and put the Glock in the house before I talked to an officer. Somebody had called and somebody tipped me off and was like the police over here looking for and, and me and that me and that officer ended up having the, the best conversation and like I told him, I still have my host on, but like I told him, like I went and put the Glock in the house and then eventually I went and got it. Like I went and but but first and foremost I went and put the gun in the house first because I didn't want him to feel threatened. First of all, because of how I could be perceived. I'm already six three. I'm a pretty big. I'm a pretty big person, like a pretty big fella. You know what I'm saying? So like, I didn't want to make him feel threatened, and I explained to him the reason why I went and put the gun in the house and proceeded to. You know what I'm saying? Like to 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 talk to him like a person. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't get I didn't get irate or or defensive. Like, and he appreciated the fact of me doing it and cooperating with him like 